Hey guys, welcome back. It is October 17th on a Monday and I am here with some french fries from Pizza Hut. And I just had a taste of these and they are so damn crispy. Like, never knew fries could be so crispy. And then I also got my favorite cheese curds from Dairy Queen. And a sandwich, which is, I was also craving a double cheeseburger plain sandwich. Those are the two things I got from Dairy Queen. And then I also got a medium sized cheese pizza, guys. Take a look. So I'm excited to try the pizza because I haven't had pizza in forever. Oops. But I was also craving freaking cheeseburger with it, too. So let's try, guys. It's a thin crust pizza. Mmm. Heaven, guys. Good stuff. Hmm. Sorry, guys, I'm eating like a pig, but mm. Pizza Hut medium pan tossed pizza cheese was ten sixty nine, and then I got a little bottle of Pepsi a dollar seventy nine. Then an order of fries two sixty nine. So not too bad. Which came up to be fifteen seventeen. What I'm really surprised though is these fries, you guys, are really crispy. Listen. I never knew fries could be this crispy. And again, I look really ratchet, guys. I apologize. I'm going to try to make this video a little longer than 15 minutes. So if I can't post it all in one video, there will be part two and whatever. Hey, okay, guys. So these fries are from Pizza Hut. Definitely try them if you guys like crisp. Crispy food. Hmm. Can't forget the mozzarella or mozzarella cheese curds from Dairy Queen. This is like the bomb.com. Mm. Mm -mm. So I'm in the parking lot <clears throat> at um, Home Depot. I was planning to go to Fred Meyer's, but I don't know why I thought it was down here for some weird reason. Pick up. I was way off. So there's like a topic I want to talk about, guys, but I'm not sure. You know? It's just about like family, you know? Because today, I'm kind of sad. Like, I'm in my feelings again. Whatever. But this time it's about family. Mine. Look how good this pizza crust is, guys. Mm -mm -mm.
So what I want to talk about is, like, I'm not trying to diss on my family, but it just sucks when you grew up with certain people that you thought you'd be close with forever, but you're not, you know? Like, it just hurts mainly because we're family. And it's about my cousins, if you may say. It just hurts me because we grew up pretty much together. We were always together. We always did everything. It's two of my cousins, you know, both females. And it just sucks because, like, you know, we did everything together. We grew up together. We were always together. And we lived for, with each other for a short amount of time. At least with one of them I did. And what hurts is that we're not close anymore. One of them blamed me for something that her parents found out about her and her brother and they blamed me for it and my brother but for me I'm not one to snitch I'm not one to rat anybody out but she blamed me for it and it just made me mad like are you serious and she also blocked me from all her social media so I'm just like I'm not gonna snitch you out if you want to go do this if you want to do that go ahead like I don't care I'm your cousin you know I got your back you got mine turns out she don't She's always blocked me off social media and it hurts because, you know, I just, how am I supposed to keep in contact with her? And it's her birthday tomorrow. You know? It just hurts. I don't even think, I don't even, what's the point of saying happy birthday anymore? If we're not close as we used to be. You know? It hurts. And the other one, who's like only a year older than me, um, we used to be close. Like I lived with her. I lived in her dad's house with her, growing up for a while. You know, so we were extremely close. We even shared a room and all that stuff. But now that she's grown. She seems to have forgotten all about her family. Like, she completely, like, disowned her family. You know? Like, completely forgot about them. Completely forgot about the ones who actually gave a shit about her. Me. And just, like, completely threw me out. You know? And it just hurts because, like, like I said, we grew up together. We were close. And last time she came to visit where I live, because I have other cousins that, like, okay. So I have, like, a couple cousins down here, like, probably two or three now but they live next to me here in Washington she came down to Washington and didn't even bother telling me the way I had to find out was from family members and her Instagram that was the way I had to find out and when I confronted her about it she's like oh I was going to tell you it was kind of like a last minute deal it was not a last minute deal she posted like two days before she even came down on Instagram and it just hurt you know and all that shit so and she didn't come see me until like days later. She's like, you're supposed to come see me. It's like, really? It's not really the way it works. Like when, we, when I go to visit people in California, I go see them. We go to their houses. That's how we do it, at least, you know? And she finally came down one day, but she asked me if I was home. I was like, um, yeah. I thought she was like, cool shit. She wants to come hang out with me. And I was happy. She came for my fucking mom. All she did was talk to my mom. All she wanted to do was fucking talk to her. And then she, she wanted to blame her for some shit saying, why is my mom talking about my cousin starting drama or rumors? And that fucking pissed me off. Like, bitch, do not come to my fucking house and try to fucking talk to my mom like that when her husband is in the room too. Like, that is really disrespectful. That is your fucking aunt that you're talking to like that? Like, chill the fuck out, you know? It just made me mad. Excuse me. I got hella mad and I just left the house. Like, I didn't want to deal with it. And then, you know, she told me when she, then she called me to her room to talk before I left the house, though. You know, she's all like, she's like, Tina, I'm sorry. She's like, I've just grown and all this fucking crap. Hold on, guys. Person right there. She's talking about how she's grown up and shit. Bitch, please. 
You're one year older than me. How fucking grown is that? And now she like lives in Texas, I think. God knows what the fuck she does, but she's in Texas now, married or engaged. She got in a motorcycle accident last year too. And she's back on a motorcycle. Like, damn, chill out, dude. Excuse me. It just made me mad. Like she has no chill whatsoever. You know? because I was close with both of them and they both live one now they one of them was in California so but you know it sucks because I was close to both and we grew up together and for them to treat me like I don't matter and then I'm out to snitch on them that I, and to block me on like social media like it's not a big deal for social media but to me it hurts because just because like I just explained you're my fucking family and you're blocking me your cousin who's always had your fucking back that's why me Family don't mean shit no more. Like, if you got my back, I got your back. Like, there's some good family members that I still have. Like, my younger cousins, but you know. And the young by me, you know, like, five years apart. Or, or, like, eight or something. They're good. Very young, but they haven't screwed me over. at all it just hurts you know that's one reason I don't want to visit California no offense I mean offense I don't give a shit no more they just want to treat me like shit and treat me like I don't matter that I'm out to get them and I'm not and it just hurts it hurts because I have nobody to be honest. My friends in real life aren't as close as I would like to be. You know, one of them had a baby, so she's busy, which is fine. The other one's in school, she's a little younger. I'm about, about to be 18 soon. But people just seem so fake these days. Like, I just feel so not happy. Like, every time I go out, I just don't feel happy. You know? I had one good friend in California and I miss her. I always had a good time when I went out with her. I miss you, Gabby. She's having a little boy now. I bought him so many, like, little one pieces and stuff. So cute. Spoiled that boy. Well, I wish I still lived close to her, but she moved from where we used to live and where she lived. Whoa, hiccups. Every time I drink soda, this happens. Guys, I'm sorry if my videos are getting boring, because I don't know what to buy, like what to try, what to eat. Like, I don't know if I should just make this a strictly eating show, which is what I've been doing, but that's it lately. Which I just post whatever I want, you know, about problems, about things going on, about my pets, you know, just like vlog too and everything. You know? I don't know what you guys want to see. You know? My third slice of pizza. I'm trying to eat a lot more for you guys. <laughs> 